Just for more on the candidates' uh, economic plans and looking ahead to Mike Bloomberg's first debate appearance, let's bring in our guests. Uh, joining us, Douglas Holtz Aiken, American Action Forum President uh, and former Congressional Budget Office Director, and Jason Furman, uh, Harvard Kennedy School Professor, former Council of Economics Advisors Chairman. Um, God, I wish I wish I could. I, I, I think you're conflicted, Jason. I'm trying to figure out where you're going to come down on these things, and knowing you as I do. I, I feel sorry for you because it, this is tough for you to pick between a, a Bloomberg and a Bernie. And, and since I feel your <laughs> inner conflict, I don't know how to address address your, your feelings on this. What do you think of, of Bernie Sanders, Jason? I mean, you're you're a smart guy. I mean, you don't want to do any of these things he wants yeah. to do, do you? Well, I heard Andrew I heard Andrew say his plan would raise fifty trillion dollars. I don't think he was taking into account the impact it would have on the economy. After that, I think he would be lucky to get an extra five trillion dollars. Um, from his plan. See, you're not disappointing me. That, that's what I would think. How about Bloomberg? Do you, do you, are you okay with a billionaire uh, buying the election? It's a loaded question. <laughs> look, I, I look at his plans. I like the proposals he's making. You know, I personally, not a fan of President Trump, would like to see who could what? beat President Trump, well, would like uh, to see who could have a sensible set of economic policies. Uh, okay. I think Bloomberg is one of the people that you know might meet both of those criteria. All right, Doug. What, what about Bloomberg's plan itself? Anything, anything there that uh, that would make things even better than they are today in the economy, or, or would it, would we no. go the other way? No, no. I mean, the, uh, everything on the Democratic on, uh, side is uh, headed south, as far as I'm concerned. There's one good plan out there. This is a, uh, you know, lots of regulation, lots of big taxes, lots of big spending. It's it's not going to do any good for the economy. That, so nothing on the Democratic side of things is, is, uh, is worth anything at this point? No. no, I don't think so. I mean, honestly, these are, these are not plans for economic growth. These are plans for, for government growth. They're about government programs, always. And they're about redistribution. And they're not about the kinds of things that have relied on the private market and innovation and success. And so uh, I find it very dispiriting. I mean, this is not an election that, that looks uh, like it's going to have a good, solid policy core in it. Jason, that comes back to how we got here, and there's been a big controversy this week, and, and I don't, I, I'm loath to bring it up because I think it's just ludicrous, but do you think some of the economic success we're having right now can be traced back to that $800 billion cash for clunkers, not shovel-ready boondoggle? I mean, is that really why we're, we have these historic lows in unemployment? You see, can you connect any dots from that to where we are here today? I bet you can. You know, you know, I think about 80 percent of the years in the last century, the unemployment rate was lower than the last year. That's happened in the last two years. You know, Joe, you were talking about 3 percent growth. This last year we got 2.3. The year before that we got 2.5. So, you know, what happened you told to me what was going to happen. Thought, you, wait, told me, you told me what 2. was going to happen. 2.9. 2.9, but you did it a different way, I think, and actually got above Joe, 3. You Joe, were on Joe, my you side for you, you were the guy who wanted, Q, right, right, you wanted Q4 over Q4 until those numbers got revised. And then you change well, back to the annual to average. I, you know, I want whatever, is, is, whatever same, is best for the, for the country. The numbers have been made up. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. So you set a, you know, you set a standard. <laughs> you know, the, only thing that, the only thing that was really strong in 2019 was the federal spending increase. That was the largest federal spending increase of the recovery. Investment growth, excluding oil and gas, was the slowest of the recovery. So I don't think this is looking a lot like an investment-fueled economic we, we boom. Did pay this a, is we did pay like a little forward okay with okay growth with a lot of government okay. spending. All right. Yeah, you keep telling it's you, the truth. Keep, I keep, think, telling, look, keep I, telling the voters that things suck. That'll work. I'm not anyway, saying they I suck. I didn't say they yeah. suck. I didn't say they suck. They're not as I just good said as the miracle you <laughs> promised us, Joe. Oh, hey, hasn't if showed you're up. Gonna, look, when you when you pay it forward and you deal with. 30 years of a, a, a renegade China in terms of trade policy, and you pay it forward by dealing with some of those issues. There were some headwinds, but I think this you was a time to move. moving the goalposts, Joe. How, the how goalposts about the are just like moving constantly. Okay. Doug, are things pretty good? <laughs> the stock market's at highs, historic lows things, and unemployment, wages are rising. Things, Anything to be – these Democrats are going to run against are, the economy? Uh, no. Uh, they're not, and they don't really. If you if you listen to those debates, there's not a, uh, an attack on Trump's economic policies. They know that that they're by and large been very successful. People are happy with where we are. Uh, they're on his conduct in the office. They're on his character. You know, th it's not about how the economy is doing. Not really. They're not going to run on that. Um, Jason, I, I would even go as far to say that 
you know, it, to get to, when you're at 12% or 10% unemployment, those first three, four, five points, you can do Obamacare, you can do redistribution, you can ramp up regulations, and it's just, it's going to happen because the economy recovers. But there wasn't a single pro-growth policy really to point to during the Obama's right. eight years, right? So how do you possibly you attribute, how do you possibly attribute any of the economic <laughs> successes now which program? Cash for Clunkers? Which one? Give me, give me one that, that I, was pro-growth. One that was pro-growth? I think Just the Affordable any. Care Act helped, helped, the Affordable Care Act helped stop that people from being locked one, into their That's jobs, a good one. enabled, no, them, on, enabled them to take more risks. Oh, if you want to have entrepreneurship, you want to have people be able to move from job well, to wow, job. That's a, that's not have we saw a steady decline. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jason. No, no, decade. no, no. Look oh, what's we had happened years to the with a higher growth, growth rate costs. under Obama than we have under Trump. So what, what is kind of debate are we having here? You, the the right. average so, debate. But I, I'm abysmal. happy to look forward. I'm happy to look forward. I don't see how you're going to have stronger growth in this country without more investment in science, more investment in infrastructure. I, you know, I think we're doing perfectly fine now. I think we can do a whole lot better and a whole lot better on a more sustainable basis if we make the types of investments can you believe that a lot of the Democratic candidates are calling so, for. I mean, I mean it, it's so a Rorschach can we just, can we just establish a, a few facts here? Can we just Go establish ahead, a please. few facts? It is a fact that the economy accelerated under President Trump. It hit a low of year-over-year -year growth of 1.3% in the second quarter of 2016, and it, got, it grew faster every quarter year-over-year year, till the second quarter of 2018. That was less regulation. That was right. ta tax cuts and tax reforms. Sugar high. There was some government spending in there. Hang on. There was some government spending in there. And then, exactly at the peak growth, when it was going at 3.1% year over year, he went after China with a big right. trade war. And it has decelerated since. But the idea that nothing has changed is wrong. It changed dramatically. And he then stepped on it with the trade war. There's no question about that. The, not, going forward, the issue is, what will be the trade policy? Will he get some results for what he did? or we continue to shoot ourselves in the foot. That's the big issue. But, the rest works. The There's no doubt about it.